Hello, I'm happy to see you again for this third Sofro Flash video. The short videos makes it possible in a few minutes to discover some practices of sophrology or to continue to practice. Today, I would like to talk here about the present moment. Of course, intellectually, we know what is present moment. This moment that escapes to us because as soon as we have spoken about it, it already belongs to the past. The present moment is used in many practices, yoga, meditation, mindfulness, sophrology. It is a central element. But why? During the day, our mind wanders. We have an average of 60,000 thoughts per day. So yes, our mind wanders a little bit. When our mind wanders, sometimes even in a few seconds, we are in the past or in the future, here to remember the night before or a conversation with a friend, there what we will do in the coming few days, the list of races, holidays, projects, etc. And meanwhile, there is one who is always in the present time, in every moment, it is our body. He is therefore the best friend to connect us to this present moment, to feel what it means and to feel all its benefits. When we intend to connect to this present moment, we already have made half the way. The rest of the journey will depend very much on the frequency with which we experienced this, so that our mind and our body get used to it and find the way easily to connect to this present moment. So I invite you to leave this practice for a few minutes while standing. Of course, if for practical or other reasons you prefer to sit, you can. Simply you will adapt what I tell you to your posture. So you can get up if you haven't already. Barefoot is fine so that you can feel the ground under your feet. And for a few moments, with your arms relaxed along your body, you pay close attention to the position of your feet on the ground. You feel that your weight is evenly distributed from one foot to the other. Rather forward, rather backward, Maybe you can perceive and feel the shape, the volume of your feet. You can close your eyes. It promotes interiority. Or you can fix a point on the ground just in front of your feet. All your attention focused on your feet and how they are positioned to allow you more encourage, you can imagine roots under your feet, roots deeply encored in the ground, which gives you an ideal stability in standing posture. Presence of your feet at this moment. Then you focus your attention on your ankles, the left one, the right one, then your calves, one after the other. Maybe you can feel your ankles, your calves, or just focus on their presence right now. Then you welcome the presence of your knees. Then on your thigh, one after the other. Then to your buttocks, your hips. Your legs, not too tight, not too loose. All your body this moment 
is present. And you are attentive to what emerges. Sensations, images perhaps, colors. Maybe you can perceive the shape, the volume of your lower body. Then you pay attention to your belly. And to better perceive your belly and its complexity, you can practice abdominal breathing as we saw in video number two. When you breathe in, you inflate your stomach. When you breathe out, you deflate it. And at the end of the exhalation, you can contract your perineum and your transverse, the abdominals. When you breathe in, the belly swells. You may then be able to perceive all the space that expands between your organs. And when you exhale, you deflate by contracting. Each organ repositions itself. And you can then perceive the presence of the lower back as well. When you breathe in, your belly swells. When you breathe out, it deflates. As if you wanted to stick a navel on your spinal cord. Then, while continuing to pay attention to your belly and lower back, you can take a natural and personal breath. Then you pay attention to your rib cage and upper back. With each breath, you can perceive the space which expands with the breath in, retracts with the breath out. To better feel the presence of your rib cage from the top of your back, always listening to your sensations. Then pay attention to your hands. Maybe you can relax them a little more. Pay attention to each of your fingers then on your wrists, your forearms, your arms, up to your shoulders. Become aware of the presence of your arms. From your fingertips to your shoulders. Focus on your sensations, the presence of your arms. Now concentrate on your throat, your neck, your head. Perceive the shape, the volume of your head. You pay attention to the details of your face, the presence of each area of your head. Then for a few moments you can turn your attention to the presence of your body as a whole. How you perceive its presence, your perceptions, your sensations. Become aware that you can now perceive the presence of each part of your body. Perceive the gravity of your body right now. Become aware that you can now perceive the presence of each part of your body. Perceive the gravity of your body right now. Slowly, when it's okay for you, you can slowly return to your waking state. Take the time to stretch slowly. Take the time to yawn. Let 
Maybe in this session your mind wandered. You were then able to experience that moment when you realized you had left and then that moment when you made the decision to concentrate back on your body. It is exactly this moment that is interesting. This moment when you decide to pay attention to your body, you decide to come back to your body, to return to this present moment. It is exactly this moment that you can pick up once or several times a day. As if disconnected from the connections around, you will decide to connect to yourself, inside. For me, this exercise allows us to kind of reset ourselves, like the RAM of the computer during the day. An update that makes it possible not to store too many useless things in our days. A beautiful entrance door also to listen to our body and all these small manifestations that we sometimes do not hear, the small pains, tiredness, Our body is the guarantor of our prison states. Let us never forget that the head is a liar, but the body does not lie. Good practice and see you soon.